Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing NAD's single disc CD player, the C568. This superb yet relatively budget CD player uh, is stomping its competition. Superb value, great sound, very, very well thought out of every implementation of it. And it, yet it's simple and it looks superb. So, let's have a quick look. Firstly, uh, the packaging for NAD's Classic series is very muted. You can see literally just a brown box with an overlay of colour for the NAD logo. On one side we've got a line drawing of the front of the unit. Spin it all the way around, we've got a line drawing of the back. Um, on both ends we've got model and serial number information, both in scan codes and a little bit of information about packaging, etc. Now this box has been opened by the distributor in New Zealand power cord um, uh, put in, but of course we're opening it as it would be exactly as you would receive it in your home. Okay, the top one. Now it is uh, just so sort of closed. It's worth noting that the original uh, factory staples appear to have been removed, so you'll see that sort of classic imprint there. It's a very, very good idea whenever you see anything packed closed with staples, you get rid of those staples as quickly as possible, bin them straight away, uh, so that there's no fear as you take the product out of the box that it could scratch it, and of course uh, not cut you either. Okay, now, drilling in. Firstly, we will see a, a basic setup guide. Now this is just how to plug things in. It's not a lot of information, it's where the power cord goes, how you get the information out, uh, and uh, the fact that it's got a couple of digital ends, sorry, out. Some very rudimentary freebie interconnects are supplied. These are simply here to check that the damn thing works. Don't expect this to be the performance level of such a good CD player. And there are some AA batteries for the remote control. There's a New Zealand IEC power cord, and NADs. Um, semi-universal remote. The remote control operates uh, all of NAD's CD players. Okay. It comes obviously in a plastic bag with a simple to remove um, plastic cover to stop it from being scratched. The remote is elegant. The batteries slide across the bag giving it a nice even weight and it sits well in the hand. You naturally move to the play, stop, pause, skip forward with the thumb, whether it be with left and right. So it's well thought out as far as that goes. Um, the CD player is protected in some closed cell foam. And if I pause and just block that forward, the simplest at this point is to just take the box, get rid of it, and concentrate on getting rid of the foam that protects it in transit. Now, the CD player is uh, protected by an oversized plastic bag, which is sellotape closed. Very straightforward as far as opening that bag, just a simple nip, and off goes the bag. Now the front display and, and the bits and pieces are then protected by a, uh, a simple enough uh, cloth protector. It's one of those sort of... Um, semi uh, polished cloth bag sort of things and it means that the front is going to be undamaged in any form of transit. And looking at the front, for, um, firstly it's uh, part of NAD's classic series. It means that it's got this muted sort of gunmetal grey slash black sort of colour. It's got the curve uh, fronts that match the rest of NAD's system. Uh, in the top right we've got NAD's logo and beneath it is a simple contact close for the purposes of turning this on and off out of standby. You have a single slot load, it's a lovely quiet tray, and it has a very rudimentary display. The display's brightness can be changed both um, uh, from the remote control and, um, and the front button marked display. Opening and closing here, source selection. Uh, this relates to selecting between the USB and uh, CD drive. Uh, display as I mentioned and then you've got the ability to uh, fast forward through the tracks backwards and forwards. You've got play, stop, pause, well sorry, play, pause here and then uh, skipping forward and backward in a rotary encoder. 
Now that rotary encoder is oversized and realistically it's so that there is a universe, universal sort of form factor that NAD has chosen throughout their range. Their preamps, their stereo integrated amplifiers, etc., all have a rotary encoder in the same place and they line up brilliantly when you stack them. So it's lovely to see that their attention to detail as far as that has trickled down into a very modestly priced CD player. Again, hang around for some photographs because what I'll do is I'll grab one of NAD's amps and I'll photograph it with it so that you can see that design element. Spinning it around, you will see uh, that the unit's not very deep. It doesn't need to be. Uh, looking briefly at the top, you'll see uh, some hex bolts that are used. Uh, this is, an, again, a design element. Uh, it gives a very rigid support of the lid, uh, removing uh, or at least reducing any potential chatter from the lid itself. At the back, I guess this is where the magic happens. We've got traditional left and right analog RCA outputs, clearly marked left and right, and colour delineated with red and white. Towards the centre, we've got the digital outputs. Uh, the separation implies that from a circuit topography perspective, the digital circuits pass through first and then of course through to the analog. There's both an optical and a coax and they're clearly labelled. There's a 12 volt trigger and this is for the purposes of simply turning this unit on and off as you would turn on and off the uh, additional amplifier in the system. And then an IR in for an external control of some kind, whether it be a repeater system or a home automation system. Beside that control we have an emulation of the scan barcode and a little bit of voltage and safety information associated with that. Now over the far side we've got a 2-pin IEC power socket, uh, 230 volts for New Zealand. Okay, so um, there we have it. Our NAD single disc CD player is 24-bit, it's got a Wolfson DAC on board, uh, it's, it's lovely. Um, really, really affordable, high-performing CD player. So, there we go. Uh, NAD C568 CD player unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>